Okay. Does get my promotions up, don't mind me. Oh, right. Promotion sent. Just wait for someone to show up, which isn't that urgent, because I'm going to have a good time regardless. Tweet on there. And hit back to the window. And I'm going to go ahead and kick it off. Now that now that the feed is figured out. So, yeah. Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system. Let me know if the levels are off. I will have to restart the program, though. Uh, this is Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. It came out 20 years ago, almost. And it was something that was just a big-time delight uh, in my freshman year of high school. It is, as you can plainly see, um, you know, Star Trek-themed. And I figure we can just go through the campaign. Uh, the campaign, I should note, is pretty much one of the best Voyager episodes ever made, even though it's a video game. And we're going to go ahead and find out why together. So we'll go ahead and do a new game. Challenging seems fine. You can actually pick your gender, which is kind of cool. Which is just a couple things, not a, not that big of a deal. Uh, so just for context or reason, this is actually a good video game. Now, by the standards of the time, of course. Um, but yeah, it's it's honestly a really solid game. It's based on Quake Three, so maybe I'll play around with some solo multiplayer, show that off. But it's pretty much exactly Quake Three. But they built a story around it. So let's go ahead and fire it off. On Stardate 48315.6, the USS Voyager was transported beyond our control, 70,000 light years across the galaxy to the Delta Quadrant. There, without aid from Starfleet, Susie, we I began our 70 year journey rules. home. Probably not. In I'll our numerous wait. encounters, we came into contact with many dangerous and violent species. Having a limited crew with no chance of reinforcements, we determined that we needed a specialized team to handle the more dangerous situations. Tuvok, Voyager's chief of security, assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Ensign Monroe is second in command of this uniquely trained team. Equipped with Seven of Nine's experimental anti-Borg weapon, the Infinity Modulator, the Hazard Team has beamed to a Borg cube on a dangerous mission. However, the team was quickly overwhelmed, and the IMOD is now in the hands of the Borg. 
Separated from the rest, Monroe is attempting to rescue the team. So, that is Kate Mulgrew. Uh, all of the characters from Voyager reprise their roles, for the most part, I think there's a couple side characters that show up. But they all reprise their roles, everybody's doing their the voice of their character. Seven of nine had to be patched in later. I've been cut off from the rest of the hazard team. Oh, he's I don't know where they are. I'll tweet that in a second. Mr. Monroe. We have isolated your team members' life signs. They appear to be trapped in the tertiary power modulation chamber. Tim Rescue Russ. them at any cost. Acknowledged. Tertiary what? And something else I was going to say on that. Topic. Listen, um, I've uploaded I don't your mission objectives and tactical information. Xbox. Review it now before proceeding. I know that the sequel probably. Did. There was a second um, hazard team for Elite Force, but it was set on the Enterprise E. It didn't correspond to a TV series. I think they only got like Patrick Stewart to do the voices. That's it. Um, audio a little bit. Voice volume down. Voice volume up a tiny little bit. Again, let me know if I'm too quiet, if the game's too loud, whatever. All right. So, something I always liked about this, because I played the demo in this level over and over. Okay. Might actually need to tweak up this. Which is really annoying, because you can't really alt tab on this. I can try. Uh, actually, no, it's working now. Okay, cool. So, let me just tweak that up, tweak that down, and... Mm, currently, I'm not bringing up anything else. Go figure. Mm, it's annoying. How is sound consistently the most difficult thing to deal with? Save your exit program real quick. Jump back in. Uh, da -da -da. And tweak my mic volume up because I tend to keep it low when I'm doing voice chats. Okay. I should be substantially louder now, hopefully. And that means I'll be able to put the game up a little bit louder. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire it back off, load from Welcome where we were. I loved that the menu system was all L cars. I, I'm just a big sucker for that, for sure. All right, uh, that's not right. 29. Oh, somebody has saved... That's kind of funny. This uh, all-in-one has saved games from the last person who played it. All right. Oh, okay. Well, I can tweak it up in here. Actually, no. I know what I'm doing. I'm a competent adult who's definitely on top of his game. There we go. All right. Game audio is back approximately where it was. And there we go. All right, cool. So something that I always liked about this is that true to form, ah, eventually you'll piss them off, but initially the Borg ignore you. All right. So these distribution nodes, when you blow them up, knocks out all the Borg in a given area. Uh, it's a little bit of creative license. But what are you gonna do? But once again, coming to this area, they don't know I'm a threat until I make myself a threat or I stand right in front of them. And in this case, gotta blow this up. Uh, 
And it shuts them all down again, so. As I mentioned, I've played this level a ton, so I could probably speedrun it. I probably couldn't speedrun the game, but... But I'm gonna try to not just rush it. Whoops. So the reason the eye mat is significant, I'm going to go ahead and cause an issue for myself here. Ah, it didn't work. Okay, I'll do it in the next section. Thanks, Monroe. Let's go. Yeah, like fucking Biff from <laughs> Back to the Future for whatever reason. I don't think it's actually him, but still. So actually, I'm just going to go keep pissing off drones. So yeah, see, if you use the same weapon too many times, ah, uh, I could have paid that guy. Oh well. Um, yeah, if you use your phasers, they'll adapt. But if you use the I mod, then the Borg will never adapt because that's the whole point. Is it modulates infinitely? Which is kind of a neat concept, though it would have been too much of a MacGuffin in the show. Nope, sorry, leaving. Goodbye. I kind of think maybe it is the voice actor. I should look that up. Hey guys, how's it going? They're not good at crouching. Alright, next area. One thing's kind of funny, I was going to say they don't usually immediately get torqued off again, but apparently, oh wow, they really are. Alright, no worries. Weapon energy light here, they kind of took this from Half-Life, but I'm not complaining. These guys are pissed. I was just trying to use the elevator. Classic quake style grunt noise. Sure, I was hit. The board took the team through there. You Probably turn the voices up a little bit more. Alright. Right, so you're just taking off. Ooh. I messed it up. I gotta be on the other side. I think. Yeah. Everybody loves platforming puzzles. It's a mainstay of Star Trek. Alright. Set up right here. Hi, lads. Cap off my weapon. Dang. 
Once again, you guys seem mad. Did I do something? Yeah, I know. Shaky cam. It's pretty generous with uh, energy pretty early on. As you might expect. In multiplayer, everything has individual ammo, but in single player, there are two ammo types. They decided to oop, keep it simple. Oh, come on. You're in the explosion. That's no fun. Quite enough of that. Yeah. Gotta get over there. Oh, it is actually, but that makes so much sense. It sounds, it sounds like him. Okay. Just picking these guys off before they cause trouble. All right. That doesn't look good. You all right, man? It was the holodeck all along. Oh, what was I supposed to do? Mr. Monroe, your tactical approach was, shall we say, tactless. All right, hazard team, report to debriefing. Nice going, Monroe. <laughs> Got him. Given situation is not as predictable as you might desire. Your <laughs> reckless decision has caused the death of you and your teammates. You have failed. Had you followed standard hazard team procedures, you may have survived the simulation. I mean, it's Quake 3 engine. Yes, sir. But they're trying to do the same thing as the series. And I always loved that. Like, block the screens and dialogue and yeah it's it's honestly pretty fun sir i don't think procedure would have mattered there wasn't any way i could have possibly rescued them someday mr monroe you may be called upon to do the impossible consider this to be your personal kobayashi maru you're absolutely right ash you can pick what gender your character is that's all the customization there is but it does change a couple of the characters i mean it was 2000 so I'm just going to stand around while this happens, don't mind me. We responded to a distress signal from a derelict vessel and it opened fire. Duvok, they don't respond to hails. Maybe we need to send a clearer message. Target their weapon systems and disable them. Firing phasers. Direct hit. Phasers had no discernible effect. Half the shields are down, Captain. Rerouting auxiliary power to the shields. Cap 
shots and I'm getting reports of extensive damage on decks 9 and 10. We're not going to survive another hit. Photon torpedoes, full spread. Torpedoes away. Yeah, get him. <laughs> Everyone all right? I am undamaged. What just happened? Captain, we seem to have been torn from normal space. I think we've been pulled through some... The stereo changes because the camera is actually a physical thing, so it's playing the audio from each source. It's kind of funny. Until repairs are made, it may be difficult to ascertain exactly where fear is. Alright, we're not doing the full intro. It's, it's kind of funny. It's actually the video from the series... But with a different song. Captain's log, like Stargate 5-3854.7. Voyager was attacked by an unknown force and transported to some kind of starship graveyard. Whereabouts unknown. The ship is heavily damaged. Communications, propulsion, and other systems are offline. Until repairs are done, we're utterly helpless. Stranded. Let's get this ship back together, Chakotay. Get damage control online. Harry, find out what you can about those other ships. Uh, definitely don't have A3D. I'm running this on my main system. Captain, there's a containment leak in engineering. If we can't get it sealed, we're going to have a warp core breach. Ensign Monroe, you're wearing a hazard suit. Get down to engineering and help Alana seal that leak. Yes, ma'am. Turbolift controls malfunctioning. Initiate vocal command using manual interface. Captain, we're drifting. Deck 11, engineering. Maneuvering <laughs> Oh yeah. No, I'm I'm a big defender of this game. Like it's atmospheric. The voice actors for the most part did not phone it in, which is really nice to see. Uh and it's a pretty faithful recreation of the feel of the show, the sets. Oh crap. That's right. All right, get through here, get through here, bud. Oh, did I? Nah, I did it too late. Ah, well, all right. Load from checkpoint. All right, just beeline right to that guy. He can be saved. I have done it. It was, you know, 20 years ago, but I've done it. Alright, come on, dude. Come on. Oh. Alright, I gotta figure out how to do that. Because I will not kill him. I refuse. I did that when I was a kid. Actually. Okay. So that doesn't work. Oh, did I change the interact button? I probably did. That's almost certainly what's going on here. All right. Load, immediately hit escape. Use, enter or E. That should be it. Yeah, see, and that's that's what I don't want to do. So let's uh let's see if we can get away with it just a little bit later. What? Now it did it didn't do either. That's rude. All right, I'm I'm not going to dedicate the whole evening to this. Give it a one more try here. There we go. Thanks. That was 
close. Where were you heading? All right, Renner. I need to take a turbo lift to engineering. Well, the aft turbo lifts were the only ones working on this deck, but they're behind the containment field. Yeah. The explosion must have shorted off this console. I, I, I think there's an override somewhere on this deck, but I'm not sure where. All right. I'm sure the speedrunners just kill him, but that ain't my style. Oh yeah. Sorry, Monroe. The data shunt's been severed here. Everything down this way is shut off. Hey, we're getting a power surge here. Monroe, quick, hit that panel and shut off this relay. That was close. Chill. I need to get this containment field down. There's an override to Jeffrey's tube just down that corridor. Thanks, man. Just down which corridor? Oh, that's right. There's maps. Current position. Vertical Jeffrey's tubes, access corridor, okay. Oh, that's right, ladders. Ladders exist. Find a Jeffrey's tube. You got it. We. This don't look great. Hey Monroe, looks like the explosion took out these two aft turbulence. Jeffrey's tubes are the only way down now. I was trying to clear the debris from this one when the EPS conduits overloaded. Great. The starboard side should be fine. This one's going to take me all day to fix now. Almost out of clear, too. That bites. That seems unsafe. Maybe I shouldn't go that way. And that seems like a good way to die. It's very inspired by Half-Life. Environmental storytelling. The uh, drains that Starfleet ships are uh, famous for. It's not that urgent of a warp core breach. Wait a minute. You're going to need a helmet to get through that coolant leak. I've got one in my transporter bumper. Yeah. Hurry up and find those terminals. There Personal transporter buffer. Power relays on the main roll. level. I'm not sure how much time you've got left. Attention. Warp core breach in an access denied. Monroe, I just remembered. You're going to need the access code to cut the power relays. Oh, Go shit. To the access code station. Displaying power relay access code. Got it. Access granted. Power relays have been cut. Attention. Warp core breach in 30 seconds. Crap. There we go. That one's splashing red. 
Lithium matrix decoupled. Whew. Warp core offline. Core breach averted. Hey guys. <laughs> Good job, Ensign. That was touch and go there for a little while. No problem, Lieutenant. Okay, let's get a cleanup crew in here. Seal that leak. We need to get main power back online. Intruder Four. alert. Give me a hand All security and hazard team market. personnel to the loading dock. You heard the man. Use a turbo lift to get there. I'm trying to hit the button. There we go. It's a little fickle. Again, I'm not running this on the Windows 98 machine. This is just running on Heart of Gold. Thanks, man. Let's go, Chang. If you need medical attention, just come back here. Monroe, over here. We're being invaded by some kind of pirates. We're taking our supplies. We have to stop them. There are two of them behind a barricade in there. They're launching energy grenades. See if you can eliminate them. Ready? Let's do it. The keen eyed will notice that we've had a couple different aliens here so far. Oh, I'm very low. Ouch. Try that again. Here, my brother, take this. Come on. If you need physical attention, just come back here. Oh, that's right. I can just run back to the doctor. Okay, so we gotta get the ones behind the barricade instead of just charging in like it's a deathmatch, as is my uh, go to. A Herogen. There's a Klingon. I think there's a Malon in here somewhere. And there is a K well, an in game explanation for that. It's not just they have the character models. There we go. I'm gonna see the dock. To Foster. We are pinned down in Cargo Bay One. We just require on. your immediate assistance. Monroe, Tuvok needs help. Come with me. Man, Tuvok needs help. Watch it. Did you just bail? No, oh, okay.
That that mode that uh, Starfleet definitely used on the phasers all the time, where you just evaporate them from existence. Tuvok always turns at right angles. That's canon. Tuvok to bridge. The intruders have been repelled. Well done. It seems our situation is worse than we thought, Tuvok. Report to the conference room. Acknowledged. Lieutenant Foster, have the team report to hazard operations. All right. I am certain that many of you are curious as to our situation. Yep. Voyager has been transported to a region of space we are not familiar with. It seems that many other disabled vessels are present here as well. We have detected an energy dampening field surrounding the area that is draining Voyager's systems of power. For the moment, we are trapped... <laughs> it's also a little funky because I tweaked the resolution, everything's rendering correctly, but it's still cropped like it's supposed to be um, on a 4-3 monitor. Yeah, the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Our primary weapons and propulsion systems are offline at the moment. The captain's current strategy is to find out as much as we can about our surroundings while we affect repairs. So, what's the deal with our unwelcome visitors? We do not have much information about them as of yet, Mr. Beesman. They appear to be scavengers of some sort, comprised of... I didn't think we saw humans there, but... ...and Malons. With only short-range sensors operational, we have been unable to locate their vessel since it departed. However, we have detected a vessel nearby. While sensors indicate no life signs, we have detected a functioning power source on board. Our hope is that their computer systems are still operational and contain information about this area. The hazard team will transport onto this vessel and retrieve any files that are still intact. No life signs? Like a ghost ship. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> While your superstitious beliefs are quite illogical, Mr. Chell, caution is recommended. Your team leader, Lieutenant Foster, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. Lieutenant? Thank goodness, specific mission objectives. All right. This is an information gathering mission. Minimal encounter probability. The hazard team will split up into two squads. Alpha Squad, my group, will beam into Control Room A. Ensign Monroe and Beta Squad will be transported to Control Room B. Our objective is to have at least one of the teams locate a functioning terminal to extract any information we can and return to Voyager. In the unlikely case of hostile encounters, the technicians should be protected at all costs to ensure retrieval of this information. Any questions? Sounds like a cakewalk. See the quartermaster, Oviedo, in the equipment room. Gear up. And we know who he is, I assume. Dismiss. All right. Yeah, they made us nice chairs for this place, too. Man, data gathering. I was hoping for some action our first time out. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. I wonder how long those scavengers have been here. I don't know. I'm surprised they managed to survive this long. I wonder where their ship is. Just walking around, interacting as we do. This is going to get into my, my storage pod. Oh, can't close it. Oh well. Austin. I don't know, Alex. You can actually go around and talk to your crewmates. Hey, Alex. Nervous about the mission? We'll do fine, I'm sure. Jeff, I sure hope they're right about that ship being abandoned. All right. Hey, dude. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> There's buttons all over the place. Lithium crystal chips for a power source. 
Most ships use those crystals, so you should be able to find more to power the gun. The second trigger on it fires the energy grenades. Be careful with those. If you want, you can test out your weapons in the holodeck here behind me. Yeah, no thanks. Save the holodeck for another time. I think it was just playing Galaga over there. Yeah, you sure are. Hey. What is it, Ensign? I'm ready to go. Oh, I'm gonna go with the team. Tells you. Yes, Alex? The lithium crystal mask. Excuse me. I guess maybe I have to go to the holodeck. That advances the script. Initiating program by noon. Begin. Oh, right. Yep, this is Standard Starfleet training. Why can't I pick up their guns? That'd be kind of fun. Oh man. I'm doing worse than in the regular missions. This is wild. They're just shooting regular guns, which it turns out are very good against energy shields. Rude. Yeah, that was super excellent. <laughs> I kind of wish. I don't think Raven worked on, uh, on it, though. Well, well, what the heck? Did I just do that whole interlude for nothing? Ah, oh, there they are. All right, gang. Now everybody's gone. I just got the hell beat out of me, but I'm sure that'll be resolved before I get in the transporter. Watch it. Rude. Yeah, there you go. Move it. <laughs> Again, very rude. All set, Alex. Okay, ready to transport team two. Energize. Okay. So you may recognize right. Let's see if any of these, are these creatures. Yes, there's yes, there's creatures. Almost like it's alive. I think I found the data target. Just give me a minute to start the download. It's hot in here. Humid. I kinda like it. You would. You're a bolian. I wonder what those are. They look like fireflies. Foster to Monroe. We've tapped into a data terminal here and started the download. 
Chow found one here too. He's accessing it now. Good sound. Very positive. What are these things? What, what, what's going on over there? Just start downloading. Okay, I've got it. Starting download. Oh, good. Oh, it didn't heal me. Is that all the waves for now? Foster to Monroe, are you all right? Yes, sir. They just stopped attacking a moment ago. Same thing here. I got all I could for me. You. There's a slight problem there. Whatever alarm went off must have raised this thing's shields. We can't contact Voyager and we can't beam out. We need to regroup. We've done some scans and it looks like there's a junction point in section 29. Section 29. Meet up there and figure out how to take these shields down. Good luck. Foster out. Section 29 is through that door up there. Great. How do we get up there? This way. Okay. Could you guys not stand directly behind me? things hmm. they seem to have an isophasic signature similar to our own transporter technology transporters Zot. Ooh. There, now I'm circle scraping. Kind of. Alright. You want to shoot the consoles, that's what the hand phasers are for. Yeah. Oh, good. Where's the control? And there's no health terminal, of course. Gravity. Oh, why that sound effect? It's open. Oh, I'm just going to keep injuring myself here, don't mind me. Oh, ranged ones. That's not good. That's probably not the right way, is it? Yep. Yep. And Graham with the observant eye. I am pretty sure. 
That is exactly what these aliens are. Which I had actually played this game before I saw that episode. Because streaming services weren't a thing, and we didn't have any DVDs! Oh god! Give me the health terminal! Oh good, it had one health in it. Oh, oh good, oh good. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Hopefully... Yeah, there was an autosave. Okay. Oh. a very safe health total to play with. There you go. Give the people what they want, I say. Okay. Whew. Let's go. To me. Seems safe. Just gotta vape the aliens. It also makes you go really fast. Yeah. Are you sure this is the right place? Positive. Maybe the aliens got them. Boop. Oh, thank goodness Biff's here. Looks like our scans weren't quite thorough enough. Hey, Chow! I'm gonna jump! Catch me! Stow it, crewman. <laughs> Look, Monroe, we've got to deactivate the shields before we can beam out. The data we downloaded from our console indicated there were three main sources we need to hit in order to do this. That's the hazard team, baby. The main computer core through there. We'll take out the backup power systems up here. We'll meet up at the main power core and shut it down. All right. Sir, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Good luck, my bro. We'll meet you at the power core. Hey, Chell, behind you. <laughs> Stop fucking with Chell, man. Jeez. It's very rude. Oh. I don't know, but I'm taking it. Short answer, it's a shotgun. I just go to borrow their shotgun and all hell breaks loose. Scoot. Is this where we want to go? No, this is from once we came. I've got point. No, you don't. Oh boy. Oh 
Ugh. Don't like that. Not a fan. Oof. Okay. It is not. <laughs> I ultimately do not have the patience level that is required for uh, speed running. You could probably try to set a record on the first level, though. Not well. I gotta give the people what they want. Chell, get out of the way. That's right, hazard team. <laughs> Weed right. Oh dear. Okay, that's plainly locked. Mm. <laughs> Games done dank. All right. Looks like another of those transporters over there. <laughs> over there. All right. Let's go. Well, she just got vaporized. Oh, what happened? The aliens vaped her. Disappeared. Some kind of energy field from that pod. There's no trace of Telsia. It's as if she was completely vaporized. <laughs> there was nothing we could have done, Chell. <laughs> we better get a move on. Or we might be next. We might be next. Like, what if the Doom Man had gone to Starfleet Academy? And dropped out. Hurry your ass up. This is definitely an asset rip from Halo, though. I mean, look at that. Is that the Starship Graveyard God. What's that in the middle? Hmm. I wonder if that's their home. It's huge. That must be the ship. Well, what do you need, Joe? Welcome to Voyager what the? L Cars menu system. What just happened? Oh, what? What the heck? 
Oh, that's really disappointing. Just kicked me out there. Well, shit. Um, man, I gotta get used to auto saving or quick saving. Ooh. Well, this is the last save I have. So. Yes, we just uh, go for it. I'm just gonna skip through all the scenes. Alright, there they are. Can I can I push them? That'd be nice. Alright. Plainly, that was the issue. Excuse me. Energize. Take me with you. Damn it. I forgot about the fireflies. There's some casual anti bullion racism again. Apparently the download goes faster the more aliens that you kill, which really just kind of goes along with that species. Fucking roasting the Firefly fly fans in the chat. Oh yeah, good call. Thanks, actually, I gotta... Quick keys. Let's just do... Let's just put that on F1. There. Nope. 
Can I skip these? That'd be nice. Apparently not. That's annoying. Alright, well, see ya. I'm actually doing speed strats. I mean, it's the same engine, so conceivably? That would be kind of cool. Yep. Wow, look at those fucking aim bots. What indeed? All right. Let's go. Wait for me. Actually, I should set quick load too. I can probably skip cutscenes that way. It's true for most games Where are they? of this era. Jill, are you sure this is the right place? Positive. Maybe the aliens got them. Boo! Looks like our scans weren't quite thorough enough. Hey. Hey, Jill, I'm gonna jump! Catch me! Stow it, crewman. Stow it, crewman. We've got to deactivate the shields before we can beam out. The data we downloaded from our console indicated there were three main sources we need to hit in order to do this. <laughs> Your team should be able to take out the main computer core through there. We'll take out the backup power systems <laughs> This is actually Star Wars, the Ben Hamish movie. Yes, sir. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Good luck, my friend. Every one of these aliens is a goddamn bastard! Fire wildly. <laughs> All right, cut it out, Biff. Let's keep it moving. Right. Skip cinematic is L. Oh, okay, we'll try that next time. There we go. I'm ready for the I've got point. Move it. Move it. Mm, nope, that's the wrong way. Oh, this was the one, yeah. Well 
Welcome to Voyager, Elkar's menu system. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was when I tried to hit quick save. Or maybe I hit F2. No. Welcome to Voyager. No, it is happening when I hit quick save. Okay. Welcome to Voyager, El Interesting. Okay, well, that might be something I have to figure out. Hmm. Uh, you only get the one option, unfortunately. But you do get to romance them. I've got point. Hmm. Welcome to Voyage. Nope, that just that just does that. I've got point. See if I can somehow just push right through it. I kinda doubt it though. Lady who got vaped. Actually, you can romance. It's it's very basic. You just talk to him. Welcome to Voyager. Okay, yeah, something is just straight up busted. That is a shame. Hmm. Okay. Well, I will have to research that before next time. In the meantime, let's just uh, check out Virtual Voyager. So this is actually the mode that I wanted. This is the expansion pack, but I never had it. Got just a big old picture of Earth, as one does. A rugby team, I guess? Hmm. Spoilers. Visit Holodeck. Hmm, okay. Ugh! Ensign? Seven. I must commend you on your tactical analysis of our situation, Earl. Oh. It is rare that I find myself in agreement with other members of the crew in these situations. So this is technically an okay. epilogue. Preparations will take some time. I suggest you use the opportunity to relax. Okay. What? Captain Janeway has encouraged me to allocate a certain percentage of my time to leisure. It is inefficient, but I see the wisdom of the practice for humans. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Alex? Hey. Come find me later, Alex. This is how you get around on Voyager, is you just kind of walk around scanning everything. Hey, it's Neelix. Neelix, if you come back later, I should have some free time. Busy man, all right.
the quarters of Ensign Alexander Monroe. There we go. Specify deck desired. Oh. Uh. Computer core. Hmm, okay, no holodeck there. There's a very specific reason I want to get to the holodeck. Deck, deck five, sick bay. Science lab, turbo left. Eh, let's swing by sick bay. Busy man. Doctor. Doctor. Oh, Mr. Monroe. Your injuries seem to be rather superficial. Dermal regeneration will not be necessary. Though you have some mild skin irritation. Perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? Uh, hey. whatever. Just referencing uh, first contact there, no big deal. Collectibles. All right. Specify deck desired. Deck three. So the security codes, security if I access required. guessed, yeah. So you can like get into people's quarters and look at their stuff like a creeper. Hi. Hi. Security access required. Okay. Not there. I know there's one on Hazard Ops. Let's try. And if not, we'll keep looking. Because why not? This was the most exciting thing. Rescue Constance Goodhart from the evil Dr. Chaotica. That hurt. What the? Very empty out here. Oh dear. Oh. Ooh. Well. Yeah. Only the one gun in this one. Thankfully, it's very accurate.
weakling. Kind of sounds like the guy. Nope, nothing to be done there. Levels do not have a lot in them. This level doesn't. Ouch. I'm not sure if there's some... Where's weapon energy? Uh, it would make... No, there's nothing. Awkward. Okay. Oh, that is a thing. There we go. Nope. Oh. Ouch. I don't think that uh, Tom Paris really intended this game is a first-person shooter. Captain Proton does not seem like a uh, first-person shooter fair, typically. Okay, well, that's not a thing. Definitely not a thing. This might be the same grunt they used in <laughs> uh, Jedi Academy, or rather uh, Jedi Outcast, which was the same developer and the same engine, so... Hmm? Am I supposed to be down here? Hmm. I mean, true. There we go. It is all first person. Oh, hello. Seems like the way we came. Here we go. Nice statue. It 
Sophisticated AI. It was 2000. Maybe 2001 when this came out. All right. I'm just messing it up. My nose is very itchy. Oof. Youch. Youch. Where's the health terminal? There we go. I can tell you with some certainty that is definitely the exact same footstep noise. Oh! Oof! This is kind of hard. Well, you know what they say. Oof! Get good. That's what I'm always told, anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad that Satan's robot doesn't have any voice lines. Ah, there we go. Did it. Now for a Warning. tranquil garden. Holodeck malfunction. Oh. Safety locks offline. Oh, good. Oh, seems pretty tranquil. Oh, hey, Boothby. Excuse me. Uh-oh. What the hell? Gotta say, these are not terribly frightening creatures. Get that guy taken care of. Well. Oh! Species 8472. Hmm. Boy, it sure was. Sure was supposed to be a tranquil garden, and yet here we are. to figure out what the objective is here. There's got to be something. 
Well, maybe not, but... It'd be kind of weird to put in the, hel the malfunction and yada 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 if there was nothing going on. No, that's nothing. Can I exit? Yeah, apparently. That was a uh, weird malfunction. Okay. Begin. Oh. Begin. Ah. Riveting. Now this is pod racing. Yeah, I'm pretty done with that. That's not very exciting. Sure. Do Klingon compound. A stealth mission. Well. Very good at stealth. Just ignore me. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Oh, I was supposed to have a gun. Well, that would have made that easier. This is a very different mission. These guys don't know anything about what happened in there. So I can just sneak around. Or not. No, apparently not. Man, this is horrible water. Okay. Iodesium. Captain, I'm trying to infiltrate Klingon outpost, but I'm dummy thick. And the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the Klingon warriors. Nobody here. You see nothing. Oh shit. Flawless stealth. I never saw it coming. Oh, 
Yeah. All right. Oh, you just... Hmm. That seems, uh... Silly. They can just respawn over and over. Out. Kind of defeats the whole nature of this uh, mission, it feels like, but I don't know, what do I know? Okay, so that's not a thing. Probably gotta get up top somehow. Like with these conveniently stacked boxes. There's gotta be some kind of way in. Z actually makes everything slightly brighter, it's kind of nice. There we go. Hey, more of this stuff. I bet that's good. Yeah, single file. Music either kind of throws these a bit. Eh, nothing. Ignore me. Clank, clank, clank. Oh, wow, that takes you all the way back. All right. Pretty Dark Forces vibe here, not going to lie. Other than the lack of music, you know. They can't all be winners. ladder physics. Uh, 
Yeah, give me more of that. Dezium. Woof! That actually got me. I'm quite low on health, which is uh, not helping things. There's the pad. And I really can't afford to take any more hits. Cesium. Now what? Oh shit. And that's the end of the simulation. Alright, well, cool. Hey, can you take a rain check? That is not surprising at all. Alright, so we did Captain Proton. Rig. Specify deck is deck one. Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system. Deck one also crashes it. Very interesting. Um, Elizabeth is Watching something and or playing Animal Crossing in the other room, I presume. Uh, I'm going to briefly look up this problem. I'm going to stay on stream, try to freshen my beverage, but yeah, I do want to fix this because I want to get past that level. I'd like to let's play through this whole game, so I'm just going to black off. screen for a moment. Don't mind that. We want <laughs> I'll see if I can interest her. We've got all the stuff for it. It wouldn't be hif difficult. Okay. Hmm. Okay, other people have had this issue recently. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. Well, I also have an ISO, and apparently some of the levels might be corrupted, which is a little funny. So let's take a look. Of course, you can't see any of this. It's just me digging around in folders, because of course it is. Alex, there we are. And let's mount that. Nine sixty four, nine sixty four, eight twenty one, two thousand, eight seventeen, two thousand. Okay, what if we just copy that right over? So, downloaded that. Aphex. Oh, yeah, no. Let's also grab the expansion file, see if that helps anything. Eject one. Not liking that. Uh, what if I just open it with 7-dip? 7-dip. BCF, pack 1, 2, 3. Just replace those. And... I'm going to run patch 1.2 again. Um, cannot find a valid installation. I guess that's to be expected. Hmm. Weird. All right. I will be right back. We'll fire this off again, and we'll see if we can get any further in the campaign than last time.
Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Let's see if we fixed it. I don't know if we did, but we're gonna we're gonna try. Welcome to Voyager Elcar's menu system. Well, that's new. So I busted something. <laughs> uh, but that does indicate that something changed. So we're going to see if I fixed it. Yeah, I do need an away card. Honestly, I've been just doing this weekly. I've not set up anything uh, for it, so... Alas. Welcome to Voyager Elkar. That broke it system. more. Okay. What happens if I try to load one of these? That it likes. Hmm. Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system. Hmm. Right. Logging off. So, maybe there it is. Hey, there's a G-Man config in here. That's funny. Okay, so I've got the pre-installed. Try that. There we are. And we need levels, maps. Stasis. One stasis two. Where is it? Environment, pop files. Yeah, I think it is just stasis one, stasis two. All right. So stasis one worked. Okay. Hopefully that's all we need to do. Probably not, <laughs> but uh, let's see if it was. Oh, that's definitely not what I wanted to do. Yep. Yeah, let's just run with it. Okay. Up it goes. Welcome to Voyager. And... See if we can load that now. Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system.
does not like that. Okay. Welcome to Voyager, Elkar's menu system. Doesn't like that either. Well, I may just need to source another version of this game. That's really unfortunate. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining me and sticking around as uh, long as many of you did. And I will be back next week, hopefully with more of this. Again, I'm aiming for just a playthrough of the entire game, so... Fingers crossed. All right. Catch y'all next time. Logging off L Car's menu system.